Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this video, we're gonna go over 20 tips and tricks for the Tesla Model 3. Now I scoured the internet to try and find all of them and put them all into one video. If I miss any, please put it in the comments below. Okay, before we jump into the 20 tips and tricks, I wanna go over two aftermarket products that I purchased that may be of interest to you. First one being the performance pedals. I think it looks really sharp over just the standard black pedals. They were a little hard to get on, especially the accelerator, but that's definitely a classy purchase. And the other thing was this here. Now, it's just a couple dollars, but if you have to go valet your car, you're gonna give him this card. He's not gonna be able to put this on the uh, key rack with all the other keys. So, made his life a little bit easier. Got one of these. So there you go. He's got he's got this key ring, and you can valet your car if you have to. Me personally, I hate valeting my car, but sometimes you got to do it, right? So that's just uh, another thought for you guys. All right, let's get into the video. All right, guys. For so my first tip, I want to go over the seatbelt alarm. So. It's showing that there's somebody in the back seat without their seatbelt on, but actually it's just a car seat. So if you have a small child and you have car seats in the back, you just tap on it. And now it shows that it's a car seat and the alarm will go away. Okay, when you're in park and you're parked on a hill and you might want to put the parking brake on, you might be looking for it like, oh, where's the parking brake? It's very simple, just hold it down. Now the parking brake is on. When you want to go into drive, you don't need to disengage it or anything. You just put your foot on the brake and now you're in drive, very simple. All right guys, if you live in a cold climate and you're expecting snow and ice for the day, you might wanna put the wipers up out of the way so then this way you can scrape the windshield and they don't get stuck and you don't, you don't damage the blades and everything like that. But they're tucked under the frunk for aerodynamics. So in order to get those out, if you go into service, wiper service mode, there they are, you can fold them out of the way and problem solved. Now you might be wondering, well, what about all these cameras here? There's three cameras um, in this housing here, and how is it gonna do autopilot if there's snow and ice all over it? Well, actually, what Tesla did, which was very smart, is when it reaches 39 degrees Fahrenheit or lower, this actually will uh, turn on an, an enclosed heating element to melt all the ice and snow in front of it. So I thought that was a pretty cool little tip. All right guys, when you swipe over and you can see information here on your last charge, you can also swipe it because there's a lot more information than what it shows you here. Here's your trip, uh, trip A and trip B. You can actually tap the menu and you can rename it. So if you're going on a trip, you can name it uh, camping trip and you can reset all the information. And it gives you the odometer, which is down here. You can also tap on the T and you can get your odometer right there. Okay, you see this little lock up here in the corner? It shows that it's unlocked. I thought it was for the screen, like to lock the screen, but actually it's the door locks. So you can see that I'm sitting here with the doors unlocked. I just tap on it, all the doors are locked. So here's your music icon. You can tap it and it'll show you what's playing or what's about to play. You tap it again, it'll go away. But if you wanna swipe up, on the music. You can get to this menu, which gives you a little more information, or you can swipe up further and you can get all the information about your music and you can choose down here. So it's just a quick little flick down here. One, two, and three. Same thing going, going down. You've adjusted the music that you wanna play, now what about the volume? So yeah, you could do it from the steering wheel, but you can also drag along here and change the volume which I thought was pretty neat. All right, guys, if you tap on the menu button here, it comes up with all the different things that you can pick from. I was in charging last, so, so I could tap here and tap charging, or if I wanna get back to charging a little bit faster, just swipe up and I'm back into the charging menu. Now, if the fan is on, it's at 72 degrees. If I wanna shut it off, sure, I can tap the fan and tap the power button, but if I'm driving and I don't wanna be distracted, I could just hold this down it flashes and the AC is off. 
turn it back on, same thing, hold it down. Okay, I have the temperature set to 72, but let's say I want it on, on 70 or 65. I'm sure I can tap, 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 tap all the way down to my desired temperature. Or if I hold on it, I can bring it right back down to where I want it. Okay, on the map view, you have a couple icons over here. So I wasn't sure what they were for, but the traffic light in the middle here, that's for your traffic. You can see there's some traffic a little bit around here by the expressway. You can tap on the satellite view and you can get an overhead view that way. And you can tap on the charging stations and you can see where your closest tra charging station is. So I navigated to the nearest charging station and it, here it says preconditioning the battery for fast charging. So the car will get the battery ready as you're driving to a charging station. So if you're ever going to one where you're thinking, oh, I know where there's one, so I'm just gonna head over there, put it into the GPS because the car will automatically get itself ready for the fast charging. The navigate button here, sure, you can tap it and then you can get into your, your home or your work. But instead of doing that, if you wanna go home and you're not home, so you could swipe over and you'll navigate to home or you could swipe down and you'll navigate to home. If you are at home and you wanna to go to work, you just swipe over and swipe down, it'll bring you to work. So I just a little shortcut. All right guys, if you surf on the web and you come across an address and it's a place that you wanna to go to, you can actually send the address to your Tesla. So instead of going in, navigate, and then typing in all the information into where you wanna go, you have your phone here, so I want to go here to the Tesla uh, dealership. So here's the address, tap on the address, swipe up and share it. Now I can share it right to Tesla. So I'm just going to tap on Tesla. And there we go. How cool is that? All right, so if you're supercharging, and you decide that you want to go into theater and you want to watch something, but say you want to watch something from HBO or, I don't know, Disney Plus. Well, there's actually a solution for that. So you can go to abettedtheater.com. It has a lot more. It has HBO, it has CBS All Access, Disney Plus, and so on. So this is something that somebody designed and it just has a lot more options here. So a little tip is if you want to send a text message to somebody, Sure, you can press the microphone here or here, say text so-and-so, then it'll say dictate your message, and then you press the button again, and then it say do you want to send the message, and then you press the button again. But if you do it all in one continuous voice command, tap in, text, John, I will be home in five minutes, and you say it all at once, and then it'll just send it. It won't even ask you if you if it dictated it properly, it'll just send it. So if you're doing something pretty simple like that, that's a little shortcut for you. So if you wanna file a bug report, Tesla made it pretty simple. You just tap on the microphone, you tell them what the problem is. So I do have this little problem with the car on autopilot in the HOV lane. So let's try it right now. Bug report. Tesla in autopilot brakes hard passing entrances and exits of HOV lane. Thank you for your feedback and it sends it to Tesla. Pretty cool. Okay, while we're talking about the microphone, if you have sentry mode off, you can actually enable it. The name of my car is Jules. Over here are Jules. Keep Jules safe. Sentry mode engaged, and the light goes on. Just a little cool little shortcut for you. All right, for my last four tricks, we have to hit the road. The first one here is if you're in drive, and you're going forward, as long as you're going less than five miles an hour, you can just put it into reverse without hitting the brake. Now I'm in reverse, and now I go backwards. Same thing with reverse to forward, as long as you're doing less than five, you don't need to come to a full stop. Okay, we have autopilot engaged. Let's say we're going under the speed limit. We're being a good citizen, but everybody behind you is getting pissed off and you wanna do at least the speed limit, just tap the speed limit sign. It'll bring your speed up to 30. Now it'll also work if you're going faster, but on the side roads, you can't go faster than the speed limit as of right now. On the highway, you can, and then you just tap the speed limit sign and it'll bring you back down to the speed limit. 
Now, when the car gets angry, if you're not touching the steering wheel, there's three ways that, that you can dismiss it. You can nudge on the steering wheel. You can push up, down, left, or right on the wheels that are on the steering wheel. Or my favorite one is tapping down on the stalk. Because sure, you can push up and down on the left one and it's going to raise and lower the volume. You can press up and down on the right one and it's going to change your, your speed limit that you have set. And left or right, it's, gonna, it's changing all your settings. And nudging the steering wheel, if you nudge it too hard, it'll take you out of self-driving. So I like just tapping down on the stalk. There we go. So instead of applying force to the wheel, just press down and it goes away. Okay, so if you're in autopilot mode and you wanna disengage it and take control of the car, there's a couple ways you could do that. Yeah, you could put your foot on the brake, but you don't really wanna slow down. We're only doing 30 anyway. Um, you could jerk the steering wheel, but sure, you can shake all your passengers all over the place. The easiest way to, to disengage autopilot, just push up on the stock. Now we're in control. Hey guys, that's it for me today. Over 20 tips and tricks with the Tesla Model 3. If you learned something new, hit that like button. If I forgot something, put it in the comments below. And please, hit subscribe, hit the bell. I have a lot more videos coming your way. Thanks again.